Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial via the um, application process of going into your time capsule and accessing it from abroad. So essentially what you're going to want to do is go down to Finder and in your menu on the side you'll see a shared um, bar over here with hopefully your time capsule or whatever other uh, device you have set up um, via the World Area Network, the WAN, and you're going to, a wide area network and the time caps goes over here do connect as you're going to type in your password once you're logged in I have it called data because that's what I initially called it double click that it'll load up all of my files and right now I'm currently in my dorm room away at uh, college so I'm actually accessing my home network more than five and a half hours away from from here, so I'll, I'll be able to access my photos, um, my brother's two, my two brothers' computers, uh, and my file server, which I've got um, right here, which houses my all of my iPhoto libraries. A few of them are bad because they were corrupt, but my iTunes, my all my other uh, media that is on my time capsule uh, with three terabytes. So that's that, and um, you know it's it's really simple. Or you could go up to the Go menu and connect a server from there and you can just connect to whatever um, you've got but basically all you have to do is make sure that in your time capsule settings uh, if you go into airport utility whoops, uh, I don't know if this is gonna pull up I don't think it's gonna pull it up because I'm in my I'm no longer near my airport um, uh, Airport Express at home uh, or my time capsule, but if I go into my network settings, yeah, so it's it's not gonna it's not gonna appear on there. So essentially, that's it. That's how you access your time capsule from abroad, and you'll be able to mess with all of your files once you're in as if you were um, on your current home network. So if I wanted to, I could easily get into this data and open up any of these libraries as if I was home. Um, all you have to do is make sure your network is set up via um, WAN and your time capsule will be set up by that um, and blink a ember or a yellow light on your time capsule. It'll blink when it's set up over WAN and that's so you know you're able to access it from wherever you are, whether it's at Starbucks, uh, you know, halfway across the world, somewhere in um, Beijing, China. But it's really simple and it's actually a great way to be able to access files so you don't have to carry around an external hard drive with you wherever you go. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you next time.